Hey, how's it going? And today I'm doing a video on a transition using text as a, I guess you could call it a mask, a clipped mask. So you kind of fly through the text. So I'm gonna call it a text fly through because that's essentially what it is. So this is kind of a fun effect and it doesn't take too much. So let's get started. We start with our, our video clip and this clip is just some footage of um, a drone going down a beach. Okay, and then uh, it came in with some audio, but we don't need the audio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit control on the keyboard and I'm gonna highlight both the audio and the video. And then on the keyboard, I'm gonna hit U for ungroup. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to deselect those clips and make sure I'm on the audio track here. And I'm just gonna hit delete, hit delete. And that goes away. So then I'm just dealing with my video clip. Now to add a video track if you click down here on the bottom if you hit control shift q you can add a video track and i'm going to add two video tracks so i'm going to do that twice so control shift q and now i've got basically three video tracks with my main track here okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to add some text on here now one of the issues i've noticed with this uh, text is that it, it can start artifacting or stair stepping along the outline and it doesn't look that great and the only solution that i found for that is to blur it so and then i noticed some text stair steps or has aliasing more than others so i'm just going to use Arial because that one doesn't seem to do it very much but some text you'll notice a lot of stair stepping and i'll show you that a little bit if, it, if as it comes up so then what we do is we're just on the media generator and we're going to go to legacy text and we're just going to pull this down here on the timeline there and it's uh, by default it's on Arial. then i'm going to click here in the text box i'm going to hit Control a to select the text and then i'll hit delete to get rid of it because now i just want to put in my own text now this is actually on the island of Molokai, so I'm just going to type in M-O-L-O-K-A-I. And it's already on bold. You can increase the size here. I don't think it matters. That's a little too big. There's also a scaling function you can use. I might make that just a hair smaller, so about 108, something like that. If you're noticing on this text, a couple things here. So one one tip i can give you is if you come over here and i'm on vegas 16 if you come over here you have an option here to edit your visible button set and if you click on that you can hide all you can show all and what i recommend you do is just click show all because then you have all access to everything right there and you don't have to go clicking to find it so i think it should be default by them all showing and if you don't want to see them then uh you know you don't have to see them so what you do is if you come in here to compositing mode and you click multiply mask you'll notice now the background is completely black and we could do a fly through just using the lettering that we've got here but what if you don't want a black background what if you want a background on top of everything so i don't think black looks that great just by itself it's kind of boring and so what you can do and within vegas is you can actually we can actually add a background to this and so that's what we're going to do now what i'll do just to get started is i'm going to put this back on source alpha so i can see i'm going to click over here on uh away from my text and my video i'm going to come over here and then i'm just going to go into pan crop here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to i'll click here on the first position and what i'm what i'm going to do actually is i want to make well it, it wanted to put this everything back so i'll just leave it right here as it is i'll leave this right here but what i want to do i'm going to make a background image so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just push in here and then i'm going to come over here somewhere where i think it might look good as a background i'm just looking for the color really it doesn't have to be have high resolution i'm just looking for a color here so if i hit my if i come here i can make this window bigger so let me just do that and i hit my scroll wheel i can really kind of punch in there okay so i'm just gonna maybe get i want a kind of a water color background let's say something like about like that let's see it doesn't have to be anything completely amazing just something some kind of color and then what I can do is if I click up here on this icon, I can actually create a picture and I'll hit save. And then if I go into my project media, the picture is going to pop up over here. It just takes a second usually. There it is. And what I'll do is I'll just drag this down to the timeline and I've got this image. Now remember, I'm just making a background image here in Vegas. So I'm going to come in here to effects. And if I come into effects, what we can do is we can blur it even more. So I can come in here and pick, there's one called radial blur, I think. 
and if you double click it it pops up right there and another one's called Gaussian blur so I'll just double click that and go OK and now if I come in here to radial blur I have you have a bunch of choices and you can just play around with some of these to see there's some presets usually and I'll just say I'll pick moderate fixed radius or I could switch it and put it also on Gaussian blur here and you can see what it's doing already right and you can play around with this and just adjust it and see what how it looks and I'm just trying to get some kind of abstract image is really what I'm doing and then if I come on the Gaussian blur I can even mess around with this some more and just see what kind of a what kind of look I get like maybe I like that something like that okay I don't know just something different you know just something maybe kind of abstract looking something kind of cool and I can come back here in radial blur and I'm just playing around with the different effects so maybe I'll pick another one intense and just play around with the strengths and see until I get something that just looks kind of cool to me. Just have fun and play around with the controls. And now once I get something that looks kind of cool, now what I'll do is I'll click this again and I'll save a snapshot and I'll go save. And it's going to pop up here my image. So now I'm going to clear that out, hit delete, and now I've got a background image I can play around with if I want. Okay, so now what you're going to notice, if I click over here underneath here, you notice I don't, you can't see anything right now. So what we got to do is adjust our compositing modes. So how we're going to do that is I'm going to come over here to this top track and I'm going to go multiply mass for that. So now by default it goes to a black background, but we still can't see down here to the third layer. So what we got to do is go onto the second track and click here where it says make compositing child. And now we got a background, which is better than black. I think it looks better than black, but you'll notice now you'll notice that the text is kind of it's kind of washed out by the background there's it's competing too much so one thing we can do is if we come in here to our text and go click on that icon right there and we go to effects we can draw an outline here and it's your choice here how what color you want to make it but black's not a bad choice so you just drag that down and make it all zeros there and then we adjust these and we can we can make a nice little outline there that makes our image stand out more like that okay and like i said there's not necessarily any right or wrong at this point we're just playing around to see what we can do so now we've got our basically our masks in place and we got a nice background and we're almost there we're almost where we want to be now if you don't like the background and you'd rather have it black you could just pull that out and now it's black but i personally i mean what do you think looks better <laughs> Okay, so I'm just, I'm, I like it with the background. Now, you got to ask yourself, now this, this effect, how long is this going to last? So let's see here. Usually I would say the fly through shouldn't be any more than like three to four seconds. It should be pretty quick. You know, as soon as, as long as it takes people to read the word, you can hit the space bar and count out three seconds. You can also look over here on the counter and go one, two, three. Okay, that's about how long we want it, how fast we want it to fly through. So what we're going to do there is we're going to trim everything down now to that level, including the background to that same. And make sure you have snapping on down here so that everything will line up automatically. Okay, so now what we've got is we've got a three second clip and this should go to black, right? And that we're going to, we're going to, get to that in a minute how we fix that okay so now we're ready for our fly through which is not that hard to do and so we're going to go up here to our text layer and we're going to click here on pan crop and then what we're going to do is this clip is only like i said it's very short it's about two two three seconds something like that so we're going to come over here and click at the end of the clip and just pull it back a frame and then what we're going to do is come here to the corner and we're just going to push in like this and push in, keep pushing in until now what you can do here, if you want to make your window bigger is you can pull it out here, stretch it out on the side re to resize it, uh, get it hard. Sometimes it doesn't always pop up. I don't know why there it is. Okay. So what we're going to do is you can scroll in then, and we're just going to keep pushing in until looking at the monitor until the we're all on the white part. And if we scroll in, 
we're pretty much there. I just maybe want to put a punch in just a little bit more like that. Now to make the effect more interesting, we can also turn this so that it turns while it's coming in. So, and if you look over here in the corner, you can see a number here and what you can do is change that to negative 90. Okay, so it's more precise. Now if we play it back, that's basically our fly through effect. Now if I stop it, if you hit enter, it'll stop it precisely. But now this is what I'm talking about. You see this kind of stair stepping or aliasing, which of course isn't, um, doesn't look good, right? And I don't know, the only solution I have for that is to blur this. So all we need to do now, there's just a couple more things we need to do to complete the effect. And one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a blur to this then. So one thing I can do is if I hit the horizontal arrow key and I click, I wanna find right where I'm clearing the frame, right, it's right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit M on the keyboard and hit enter to just mark that spot. So I know where that marker is, is where I'm clearing the frame. And then I can, using my arrow keys, I can kind of scroll around and decide where do I want the thing to start blurring. So maybe, pub maybe like right about there, I'll have it start blurring. So I'll put another M there just so that I know that's where I want it to start. And I just have a frame of reference, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here into FX on the track level, not here on the clip, but on the track level. And we're gonna go to Gaussian Blur, we're gonna go Add, we're gonna go OK. And all we really need is horizontal blur. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our vertical down to zero, we're gonna click this little animate icon here, then we're gonna pull this up, and you notice we've got some keyframes here. So this one, you can just pull and grab it to like out a little ways from the corner. And when you click on it, just make sure this is set to zero. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move off of this keyframe, just click anywhere there. We're gonna click add a keyframe, and then we're gonna set the Gaussian blur to, I don't know, we'll just start right there. And then I'm gonna click again right there, and then I'm gonna put the Gaussian blur back to zero. And now if we come back our clip, you'll notice here's those three keyframes. So all I need to do is just drag them over this way, cause that's where, well wait, I see four of them. Hold on one second not supposed to have four of them. So I don't know why I have four, but I'll, let me just drag these while I got them in my site. So there's four keyframes, there should only be three. So let me go back into the tracks level effects. It's gotta be, where is that fourth one hiding at? I don't know, is this zero here? I don't think, uh, there's only three there. Why is there four here? I don't know why that one's there. Can I delete it? No, I can't delete it from here. Well, let's take a look and see if um, if it's blurry. See, see, see how it's already blurry? Well, it's not blurry there. So this, I don't know why that keyframe is showing there, but there should only be three keyframes here. So let me double check one last time. Go on to effects. This isn't that weird. That's just really weird. I don't know why. There's, there should be a keyframe, it'd be right there, because these are our three keyframes. But anyway, we can check the values here, and that's zero, one, and zero, okay? So I guess whatever keyframe that is, <laughs> well, see, now it kind of goes away, wait. No, it's, there's something there. Well, anyway, so we're gonna click here, and this is zero. Point we want it to start moving is, a blurring is, we'll put that keyframe there, we'll put this keyframe here, and then what we're gonna do is put this keyframe right there. And then that should be our when our blur kicks in. So see how it blurs there? And you can just adjust these keyframes if you want the blur to start sooner or whatever. But when it blurs, if I hit enter, you see we're not gonna see that stair stepping anymore, right? And so we can, we're kind of hiding it. And if we want the blur to you know kind of transition out a little bit, more we can we can actually pull that to there. Let's do it like this. There we go. So maybe I want the blur to keep going a little bit longer. Okay, something like that. So just play around with that. Now the only thing that's happening is when we get to the end, of course it goes to black and we don't want it to go to black. So what we're gonna do there is come here and if you hit Alt, 
Well, let's zoom in. And if you hit, that's the end of our, well, that's the very end of our clip. So wait, I want to come here and click right here. And with, come to the very end. Oh, it's being kind of finicky today. <laughs> I want to come right there to the end of this clip right there and click on this clip right there and hit split. And then I'm just going to pull this down. Oops, I just said the opacity and pull this down to there. So now it should just pop straight up. See, and that's our whole effect. So when you're ready to render this out, if you wanted, let's say you wanted this to be an ongoing repeat title, we'll just come up here where the loop is and just however long we want the clip to be, maybe that long. When you're rendering this out, make sure you come into your render properties and make sure that you go to 32 bit floating. Make sure that the resolution is on best and go ahead and disable resample and then go OK. And then you just go into this tab and go render as and then you can render it out whatever you want it. But usually I go with the, if you've got an NVIDIA card, it'll render out faster if you pick this one. If you don't have an NVIDIA card, it doesn't make any difference if you choose that, you would choose this one. But I'm just gonna render this out as high definition, 1080p, 29.97, and we'll just give it a name and call it title. And so there's a lot of different things you can do to play around and get the effect you want. I realize this video went a little longer than I expected, but I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you found something helpful in it. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it when you watch the videos all the way through. And so take care and have a great day.